One fine morning, Mr. Hedgehog decided to go take a walk. He figured he'd go down to the garden, see how the turnips were coming in. Along the way there, he ran into Rabbit. Rabbit waved hello and asked him what he was doing out so early. Hedgehog said he was going for a little stroll. Go see how the turnips are doing. Rabbit started laughing. You? Walking with those little stubby legs? It's a miracle you can walk at all. Oh, is that so? I can get along just fine. And the rabbit laughed more. Yeah, but I bet you can't even run. You can't do anything more than wobble around. <laughs> just like pushing a stone down a hill. Hedgehog started getting rather annoyed. I can run plenty fine. Is that so? Yeah, it's so. You want a wager? Yeah, I can wager. Got some money. I'll put it up on my side. That's fine by me, and I got some brandy I'll put up on mine, said Rabbit. See you next Sunday. We'll race from here down the lane to my house and back. Whoever gets down and back first will be the winner. Take all the prizes. Sound fair? Sounds fair indeed. I'll see you next week at this time. And so, Hedgehog stomped off to his garden, and as he checked on his turnips, he realized Rabbit was right. He's not that great a runner. You see, hedgehogs are more made for digging and rolling. They aren't terribly great at running at all. They can pick up some speed, but not like a rabbit. Hedgehog came home rather annoyed and rather worried. Of course, his wife read it all over his face. What's wrong, sweetie? What happened? You alright? And so Hedgehog told his wife everything that had happened. She just patted him on the shoulder. It's okay. Let me handle this. We've got a little bit of time yet. Just trust in me. Do as I say. It's gonna be fine. Well, the day of the race came, and everyone had heard about it. Mr. Rabbit wasn't known for keeping his mouth shut. Hey everybody, ready to watch me win? He laughed. Rabbit was already ready to run. Hedgehog shook his head. Oh, you. You've got to learn not to be so rude. Heh, <laughs> rude. Who cares if I'm rude if I'm right? Let's do this thing. And so, on the mark, they both head out, running as fast as they could. And sure enough, Rabbit was clear of Hedgehog before he knew it. Looked back behind him, no Hedgehog. Turned around, there he was. Now, this annoyed him, so Rabbit ran harder. Soon, he'd lost sight of Hedgehog again. Rabbit started to laugh to himself, but just as he began laughing, he saw Hedgehog again, right up in front of him. By now, he was starting to get real annoyed. How on earth was Hedgehog faster than him? And as he was ready to turn back towards Hedgehog's, there was Hedgehog again. Hedgehog gave a little wave and kept on jogging. Now Rabbit was tearing down the road, fast as his little feet would take him. He was breathing so heavy he wasn't sure how he could even keep his breath in his chest. He'd look back behind him, no Hedgehog. Looked in front of him, there was Hedgehog again. Poor Rabbit just couldn't keep up. He collapsed right by the finish line, tumbling into the dirt. He looked up at the judge. I won, didn't I? Hedgehog just kind of waved at him. Everyone started to laugh. Rabbit was furious. He wasn't sure how Hedgehog had done it, but sure enough, Hedgehog won the race. And sure enough, since Hedgehog won the race, Rabbit had to give up that bottle of brandy. Hedgehog went home laughing, where all his cousins and his brother were waiting for him. And they all laughed and celebrated over brandy. Mrs. Hedgehog's plan had worked fine. Hedgehog's wife had gone ahead and gotten everyone that she knew that was related and mailed to Mr. Hedgehog. And they all just waited out there for Rabbit, sitting behind piles of rocks, bushes, and fence posts. Places that were small enough that a hedgehog could hide behind, and Rabbit fell for it. After that, Rabbit learned to keep his mouth shut. At least, for a little while anyway.